New attendant Birmingham funeral home director says he's putting up his own money to hoping to decrease his own business. Bushelon funeral home owner Aubrey Bushelon tells our Brittany Dion the investment is worth it. Brittany joins to explain. Well, Catherine, Jonathan, Aubrey J Jason Bushelon says he's hoping to serve as a catalyst for more change in Birmingham, hoping to save more lives. I sit here all the time and deal with families that are bereaved and coming in talking about their son and their daughters falling victim to a senseless violence. It's a sad fact. Too many names of Birmingham kids are crossing the desk of Bushelon funeral home owner Aubrey Jason Bushelon. So instead of me having to see an increased number, I hope to try to decrease that number in some type of way. The Titusville native says the $1,500 donation he made to the Birmingham Parks and Recs he hopes will keep more kids alive. If you can get a ball and a glove in a guy's hand or a young lady's hand, that'll keep the guns or the drugs out of their hands. Birmingham had a record number of homicides in 2022. Police say at least 13 were children under the age of 18. Bushelon donated the money to help save the Birmingham youth baseball season after he says he saw the story featured on WBRC Fox 6 News. So hopefully our donation made some type of impact to the future. But the board says they can't move forward because they're waiting on the 14 teams that make up the league to pay registration fees and submit proper paperwork for each athlete. The Parks and Recs board says as of Monday, none of the teams had completed registration. Bushelon says he knows what it takes to be a leader, a successful leader of an organization, and says it's important for coaches and organization leaders to do whatever it takes to meet that final deadline. Even if they need to go out and pick up the paperwork from the parents. Birmingham Parks and Rec says they'll be covering all of the costs for umpires and the game day activities and that they've extended the deadline once again to this Thursday, May 11th. That is the final deadline. Since our stories have aired, we've heard from another business wanting to put up their money donated to help save the season. We'll keep you updated on what happens. Back to you.